Hey, Bellevue family, so good to be with you today and so excited to recap last Sunday's message and to look forward to where we're going this Sunday. Last time we were together, we were in Psalm 30 and we asked the question, why do we worship? And we saw from the text that we worship because of gospel restoration, because of God's character, and because it's our job to give glory to God. And so we really recognize that when we're genuinely thankful for something, we don't have to have to work to be thankful. It just kind of flows out of us. And so what I encouraged us to do and what the text, I believe, encourages us to do is just to be genuinely thankful for the gospel, for recognizing, you know, how far away from God we were and just how amazing the gospel is in Jesus bringing us back to God. And so we, we celebrate that. We worship because of it. We worship because God is holy and just. He's merciful and gracious. He's personal and he has a plan for us. And so when we think about who God is, that should drive us to worship too. And then again, recognizing that everything we do is an act of worship and everything we do should seek to bring glory to God. That's why we worship. That's why we gather together. And we hope that this week as we gather together to worship the Lord and to bring him glory, that you will join us as we work through Philippians 3.12 through 4.1. And we're going to be seeing how God calls us to a high calling. We're going to be seeing how we're called to press on into the future and to, in a way, think rightly about the past and where we're going. And so I hope that this week you'll read over those verses, you'll, you'll pray over them, you'll prepare your heart as we see what God is calling us to as we look to the future. We'll turn it over to the worship team who will tell you about what to expect in worship. Hey Bellevue family, this week we're going to be in the book of Philippians and I love this book. It talks so much about having joy through our trials and to be firmly rooted in Christ. This week we're going to be talking how we can stand firm in Christ because He holds us. Our songs this week are In Christ Alone, Higher Ground, Yet Not I But Through Christ in Me and He Will Hold Me Fast. Do you remember the first time we did He Will Hold Me Fast? That word fast means to be firmly fixed or attached. That has nothing to do with us. We are only firmly held because of the blood of Christ. And it's because it is all on Him and not on me that I'm able to trust Him. I'm able to stand firm in Him. And I'm able to become more like Him because it's on Him, not me. We can't wait to see you Sunday as we as the body of Christ root ourselves in that fact and go out changed because of Him. We'll see you then.